Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Steph. It's a little bit of a different setup. Normally I'm sitting in front of my bookcases, which are actually just behind me here. I'm super excited because I'm going to do another reorganization. Um, I don't know why, but I just can't stick to something for, you know, a long period of time. I have to reorganize and color, the color combo is cute and all and like the rainbow and all that and some stuff I've just you know, like books I've hauled recently are up, currently up at the top out of rainbow order. And I'm kind of vibing with that right now. I'm, And I kind of want to stick like books by the same author together or series together, things like that, which I haven't done in a long time. So I think that's what I want to do now. I'm going to reorganize and then I'm going to give you guys a book tour. Um, I keep saying that... I'm going to film book tour and then I get new books and I'm like, oh, well, I'll wait because I'm adding to the shelf. But you know what? It's about time. It's about damn time that I give you guys a book tour, which I am really excited about. So let's get right into this video. Let's reorganize. I am definitely think I'm going to do a time lapse for the reorganization because I know that the uh, whole talking you through all the books that I have and book tour of my shelves is going to be a really long video so let's start out with a time lapse and once i get the shelves the way i want them we will get into the book tour okay first i thought i would just show you my little outfit of the day i've actually never done this in a video um but you're going to be seeing it in the video so i thought i'd show you um i got on this super cute, can't even speak. Super cute um, maxi skirt, I guess. It's super floaty. It's super hot here in Newfoundland. I actually just have some pink Crocs on inside my apartment. Um, and then my T-shirt is actually um, a map of Newfoundland. Um, I live in Newfoundland, Canada. If you didn't know that by my um, other videos, so yeah, I have that top on with a skirt and it is literally been so hot here in Newfoundland it's been the hottest summer ever um to record I'm pretty sure and it's been the hottest I've ever seen it here um that's for sure so just trying to stay cool and I actually can't have the fans on while I'm filming in my um apartment because it would be way too loud. You wouldn't be able to hear anything. Um, so yeah, I have this on. So now that I'm like literally sweating, let's see if we could fix the camera angle here. I'm going to like show you what my shelves look like right now. I'm like not super happy with how it looks because I'm so used to the rainbow order that it feels very disorganized right now. But it does feel organized in the way that I've done them by author. So kind of like, I guess, talk you through my process here before I go into an in-depth tour of what everything is on my shelves so up here i have all of my standalones um that um are by the same author so like we have all christina lauren taylor james reed k.a tucker so basically anything that i had you know multiple books from the same author i put them all along the top here and then kind of going with the same thing down here but also as series so we've got the field party series um Millbury. Um, Forbidden Summer series, After series, all that kind of stuff was right on down here. Then I have some more like, I guess kind of darker romances you would call them. Um, and then some like just dark books in general that I didn't have a place for so I put them there. The next shelf below that is all hardcovers. Then we've got over here we've got my classics. We've got some books that I loved and gave either four or five stars and then I also have some books that are really anticipated on this side that I want to read. Below that we have 
Miss Colleen Hoover. And then down below that, we also have um, some more books that are, I really want to read and just some extra things that I haven't um, had a place for, so they are down there. That being said, the majority of my shelves, um, I will say like, I'll try and see if I read it or not, but there is a lot that I haven't read. And that's because I do book hauls quite often. I just don't get a chance to read everything. Um, and I constantly keep buying books because I literally have no self-control. I literally treat my shelves all the time and buy new books. Um, so yeah, I will definitely let you know if I love it or not as we're going through the process. Sorry if you can hear the neighbor upstairs. I live in a two um, apartment house, so sometimes you can hear walking and things like that. Um, so yeah, let's get right into showing you all the books. I have a feeling that this will change over time. I'll reorganize it again um, and, you know, make it different because I can't um, keep it, you know, like this for too long because I like to change it up. Um, but obviously the books will stay the same, they'll just be in a different order. Um, and I have a book haul, maybe two, coming soon on my channel. I know I said I was on a book buying band, but there were some books on sale and like I said, I have no self control, um, so there would definitely be some new books added to the shelf. Um, but let's get right into the book tour. Okay, so sorry if the camera angle is a little bit shaky. I am actually um, filming this on just holding my phone because my tripod doesn't reach as high as my bookshelves go. So I guess we'll kind of just like go across and then go down um, and I'll give you a glimpse of everything that are on my shelf. So when we first go up to here, my thought process for the shelf, like I said, was um, authors that I have a bunch of books of. So first is my Christina Lauren collection. I love Christina Lauren's books. I obviously don't have them all, but I have The Soulmate Equation, The Honey Don't List, My Favorite Half Night Stand, Unhoneymooners, Dating You, Hating You, and Love in Other Words. Um, I have read like pretty much over half of this book. Um, you'll know my thoughts in my other video. I just had a hard time reading it. It was in third person. I did start reading this one and I was enjoying it, but it just wasn't what I was looking for at the time so I did put it down but I do want to pick it back up. These two are a new addition to my shelves so obviously I haven't read those yet but I gave this one a four star rating. I really liked it and then obviously love in other words I gave five stars. Then we're moving over to two books that I have by Taylor Jenkins Reid. One True Loves which I read recently absolutely loved it gave it five stars and then I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Didn't love this book. I really want to try and give it another chance um, but I did not finish it completely. I still have the bookmark and it actually I'm probably about halfway through it. I do want to give it another chance like I said. Then I have two K.A. Tucker books that I recently just got. Haven't read anything by her yet. Uh, definitely think I'm going to pick up Say You Still Love Me first um, and then Until It Fades. Uh, this one is currently on my August TBR so I'm hoping to get to that one soon. Then we have two books by Sarah Desai or Desai. Um, the Dating Plan and the Single Table, the Singles Table, sorry. Um, these are part of a series, I believe. Um, there's three books in this one. I don't have the third one, and I'm not sure if these are in correct order. Um, I think the, um, the one that I don't have is the first book, so I haven't read these ones yet. Then I have some Jasmine Guillory. I have posted these actually on my Instagram. I love the covers of these books. I got them on Book Outlet for super cheap. Um, I mainly grabbed them because I gravitated towards the covers. Um, I have not read any of them, but then I have, you know, The Wedding Date, sorry, The Wedding Date, The Wedding Party, Party of Two, and While We Were Dating. And then I have some Katie Konskno books. I am horrible at pronouncing that name. I really need to try and see if I can Google it and get a pronunciation, um, but these books are super cute, really cute covers. I love the like little people and things on them. I'm not going to pull every book off my shelf, but I've got top 10, how to love nine days and nine nights, and you say it first. Then we get over to my Tessa Bailey collection. I have It Happened One Summer, Hook, Land, and Sinker, and Tools of Engagement. I actually do own my Killer Vacation. I ordered it, but it hasn't come yet, um, but I'm really excited 
to add that to my collection. I have not read this one yet. I heard that it's not the first one in the series. It's like a three-part um, book series and I don't have the other two so I didn't read that one but gave both of these ones five stars. Then moving over here we have The Heart Principle and The Bride Test both by Helen Huang. I did read The Kiss Quotient which is the other one, the third book in this series. I don't own that one but I have not read these two. Then I have in Five Years by Rebecca Searle or Surly, and then Famous in Love by Rebecca Surly. Have not read those. Um, I have Beach Read. I gave that one five stars by Emily Henry, and also People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I read quite a bit of this one, but I did not finish it. I didn't love it, but I definitely want to give it another chance. I'm not going to say that I hated the book because maybe it just wasn't the time. Um, for me to read it when I was reading it, um, but I do want to give it a second chance. Then I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I remember like this is one of the very first like more adult books I guess um, that I read um, a few years ago and I loved it. I read it I remember on the dock at my grandmother's cottage and I absolutely loved it. Five okay so then I also have Abundance of Catherines by John Green that I have not read yet. Then I have these two books by Gail Foreman. I have If I Stay and Where She Went. I didn't read these, um, but I bought them because I watched the movie If I Stay and I absolutely loved it. So I do want to give these two a go. And then I have The Last Song and The Lucky One. Um, just picked these up when I was thrifting. Um, really like the movies for these so I definitely want to get a chance to read some of Nicholas Sparks' books. Then I have these two here which um, I haven't heard too much about um, but they're by Lauren Oliver I believe and it's uh, Replica and Ringer and they have like really pretty covers with like butterflies and stuff on them. I haven't seen too much about them. If you've read them I'd love to hear your thoughts on those. Haven't tried them out yet. Um, but I'm excited to see now what they're Now we're coming about. down to the second shelf. This is my series. Um, so this series I got recently, it is the Field Party series by Abby Glines. People say that this series is like a YA version of the Off Campus series. Um, that's definitely why I picked it up and I also got them on Book Outlet. I have another book coming that's part of this series. I am not positive these are in order or not. I think they are. So I have Until Friday Night, Under the Lights, After the Game, and Making a Play. And I also own another one. Like I said, it's on the way. I don't remember the name of that one, but I think it goes in between these two. Then I have Come Back to Me, Stay With Me, Run Away With Me, Watch Over Me, and Fall Into Me. This is the Mila Gray series. Um, well, sorry, it's called the Forbidden Summer series by Millie Gray. And uh, I haven't got a chance to read them yet, but they're, I believe they're like interconnected standalones all about different couples. Um, the same with these ones here. Um, I've been really liking books like that recently. Like I read some of the off-campus series and really enjoyed it. So I thought I would pick up some of these series. Then I have the very controversial after series, but this is what got me back into reading. And I absolutely loved this series devoured these books especially this big honker this is like I feel like this is one of the biggest books I own it's absolutely huge um and I remember reading this in like two days I loved it so we have after after we fell after ever happy and before I actually don't own after we collided because I want it in the original cover and I haven't been able to find it I'm wondering if maybe it's like out of print and they're just selling the movie cover but I own all of these in the original covers so I don't want to have a movie cover one but I think I might end up it's been like over a year now and I haven't found it yet so I think I might just go with the movie cover one so I can complete the collection and then beside that I also have this book by Anna Todd which is nothing more which is like another like two part I guess like a duology I guess um talking about Landon which is the stepbrother to Harden, um, who's the main male character in this series. Um, so it's his romance. And so there's nothing more and then nothing less. I only have the first one. I got it on sale on Book Outlet. They didn't have the second one. I definitely want to try this one out first and see if I like it. Um, definitely going to have to try and remember all the things that happened to like delve back into the whole um, after universe, I guess. I know this is like about... Landon but I definitely think that possibly the couple from this series might pop back up in this one I don't know I haven't read too much about it but I have it there because I just I really wanted to read it 
Um, and then I have two books by Abby Jimenez. I have Life's Too Short and the Happily Ever After playlist. I got this one at a thrift shop actually. Um, and then I got this one on Book Outlet. I also have the last one in this series, which I think is called The Friend Zone coming from Book Outlet as well. So I'll have to make room on the shelf to put that one there as well. Um, then we're moving over here. We have these five books by Jenny Han. We've got The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, We'll Always Have Summer, obviously The Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, and then we have two books from the Two All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy. I don't own the third one. I have Two All the Boys I Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You. Um, I'm missing the last one, I believe, or maybe this is the last one, I can't remember. I have watched the movies and I absolutely love them. So my sister gave me these two for Christmas last year, I believe. So I haven't got a chance to read those yet. Um, funny thing is, is like when I watch a movie and then someone gives me the book from the movie, it's like I've already watched the movie. I know that the books are always better, but sometimes it's hard to delve into it. Um, so I do want to get to read those. And then, and then after that, I have five books in the Bridgerton series. These are like, I don't know. They're like a mass market paperback, a mass market paperback, but they're bigger. I don't know. I absolutely love how cute and small they are. I'm not a big fan of mass market paperbacks, but I like these. I got these also in book. They were like $2, $3 each, which is crazy. Okay. Sorry if the camera angle has changed. I had to get a drink of water from talking so much. <laughs> I was getting a little bit of a tickle. So here we have, like I said, the Bridgerton series. This is not all of them. I think there's like... I'm not even gonna say how many books because I'm not sure. I want to say eight or nine, but I'm not positive. Might even be seven. I know these are not in order because oh, this is the first one here. But um, so I have Romancing Mr. Bridgerton to Sir Philip with Love. It's in his kiss. When he was wicked and the Viscount who loved me. I just think these covers are so cute. They say on them to be a Netflix um, TV show. This is why I picked these up. I knew they were a series before. The TV show, but I just never really liked period drama books, I guess. Um, but then, like I said, I watched Bridgerton, loved it, so I got these. The only thing I hate is the fact that these are not stickers, they're like actually on the cover, so you can't peel them off. Um, but yeah, those are the ones I have in that series, and I do want to collect more of them. Then, moving down here, we have darker books i guess but um maybe some more like smuttier series so i have the 50 shades trilogy and then i have bared to you and entwined with you by sylvia day these books all right here were actually my mom's and um, her friend gave them to her after she finished reading them and my mom never read them so i was like sorry but i'm adding them to my collection and I definitely want to get into reading more of those. Um, so then these are all by Helen Hart. And so I have Fate, Descendant, and Legacy. I believe that is like a trilogy there. And then this other trilogy is Breathless, Ravenous, Insatiable. I am not positive if those are all the books in those series. Um, pretty sure each book is about a different couple, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, I haven't read too much about them. Like I said, they were my mom's. I put them on the shelf and she hasn't come for them. So now they're mine, <laughs> but I don't know too much about them. Definitely want to give them a chance as well. And then these ones here are books three, four, and five of another series by Helen Hart. So we have Possession, Melt, and Burn. And then beside that, we have this book here, which is Dirty Letters by Vi Keelan and Penelope Ward. I've read quite a few of Penelope Ward's books on my Kindle, but I don't own them. This one here I absolutely loved. I believe I gave it five stars. Then we just have a couple other books. None of these I have read yet. Sorry, I need to really like get lower so you can see this angle here. Okay, so then I have The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith, The, Infinity, the Infinite Moment of Us by Lauren Miracle, I think it is. Um, the Midnight library by matt haig um star cross by minnie dark how to fail at flirting by B denise williams i think i just bought another book by denise williams i'm not positive 
um, that same name sounds pretty familiar. And then by Crystal Sutherland, I have Our Chemical Hearts. Like I said, I haven't read any of these yet, um, but I'm excited to get to them. And then we have this shelf here. First I have some like classics and then like some like, I don't know if we would call them like reimagined classics, but they're, you know, based on classics. So I have Little Women by Louisa, uh, May Alcott, I have Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte, and The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Those are all like special covers, I guess. Um, they're the paper mill press covers and they're super pretty. And then I have Mr. Darcy Broke My Heart, Jane Austen Ruined My Life, um, both by uh, Beth Petalo. Petalo? Um, I read those when I was younger and I really liked those and they also have the Lost Memoirs of Jane Austen by Siri or Siri James. Um, and then I have my Jane Austen collection here which I thrifted. I'm absolutely so happy I got these. I got them when I was younger actually. Um, I'm not sure what made me want to buy these. Sorry about that. My Apple Watch was ringing um, but I'm so glad I have them now so I have Emma, Mansfield Park, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice, and Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I actually haven't seen anybody with these classic versions. They have super cute little um, foil on the edges. And the books like look like this. I love these. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where they came from, like I said, because I thrifted them, but I absolutely love them. Then moving over here, we have some books from all the way to here that I've read. And these ones I haven't, they're just ones that are like really anticipated reads and they looked nice on this shelf. Thousand Boy Kisses by Dilly Cole. Oh my gosh, if you have not read this book, you absolutely need to, five stars, loved it. Serenading Heartbreak by Ella Fields, such a good love triangle. Um, I don't typically love love triangles, but I loved this book, five stars. We have The Flat Chair by Beth O'Leary. I gave this one four stars, I really did enjoy it. I have another book by Beth O'Leary coming in the mail actually um you'll see in a recent a new haul coming soon i have the summer book and rules by kl k l walder um my words are starting to be jumbled now because i've been doing this for quite a while <laughs> um five star read the love hypothesis by Allie hazelwood do i even need to say five star read the hating game by sally thorne five star read archer's voice you're getting the hint here five stars every summer after five stars um, by carly fortune and then good girl complex by l kennedy five stars as well as the spanish love deception by elena armez five stars and then i have these books here like i said that i want to read soon i've got fight or flight by samantha young um, if i never met you by mahari mcfarland i have how to love your neighbor by sophie sullivan the intimacy experiment by rosie denan i have another book coming by rosie denan as well i think it's called the roommate and then i have you be mine by aaron han han um have not read those ones yet but i'm excited to read them i think they look super cute on the shelf we're going down to the last three shelves. <laughs> okay, on this shelf here, I have the majority of my hardcover books. I have The Opposite of Falling by Micah Good, Meet Me at Midnight by Jessica Pennington, As Many Nows as I Can Get by Shauna Young Youngdale, Fat Chance Charlie Vega by, uh, I think it's, yes, Crystal Mel Meldana Doll. Medalado. I'm sorry if I'm completely butchering that name. Um, I did read this one. I really liked it, um, but I only gave it like three stars. It's very young adult. Um, I did enjoy it though, plus size representation. I have a few plus size books that I'm excited to get to. Um, that being one of the very first ones that I bought, I really did enjoy it though. Where I End and You Begin by Preston Norton. Then we have Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. Symptoms of a Heartbreak by Sonia. I can't pronounce the last name there, um, but I have not read that one. We've got Five Feet Apart um, by, cannot pronounce that name as well. <laughs> um, very popular book. There was a movie made of it. Um, I seen the movie first, so I definitely wanted to own the book. I have More Than a Pretty Face, um, of Curses and Kisses, The Arrival of Someday, Last Chance Books, Joe Watson's um, Big Boned, 
sorry, Big Boned by Joe Watson and The Girl Least Likely by Katie, another last name I can't pronounce, but it was a super cute book and I hauled it on my channel so you can go check that video out as well. Moving over here, we have my Colleen bookshelf. I've got Confess, Ugly Love, Colleen's um, Reminders of Him, Maybe Someday, Maybe Not, Regretting You, Without Merit, It Ends With Us, Heart Bones, All Your Perfects, Verity, Layla, and November 9th. Anybody else hate when people say November 9th? It does not say November 9th, this is November 9th. I don't know why, it's just something that bothers me. I'm a huge Colleen Hoover fan. Um, I'll just go through these really quickly and tell you which ones I've read. I've read Confess, Ugly Love, Reminders of Him, Maybe Not, Maybe Someday. I've also read Maybe Now, but I don't own it yet. I have Regretting You. I've read that one. I have not read Without Merit. I've read It Ends With Us and Heart Bones. I have not read All Your Perfects. I've read Verity. I have not read Layla. And I have read November 9. I also have read Too Late, which I do not own yet. Um, all of the books I've read by Colleen Hoover have been five star reads for me. Um, she's my favorite author. I absolutely love her. Um, and we're going down to our last shelf here and then I'll kind of show you a couple of the like little plants and trinkets and things that I have. This last shelf here is just some extra books. Like I said, that I'm excited to read. I've got My Life Next Door, I believe by Huntley Fitzpatrick. We've got Anna in the, sorry. This is not a great angle. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Last Year's Mistake um, let's see, by Gina. Not sure of the last name. <laughs> I'm very bad at pronouncing. Um, Head Over Heels, The Time Traveler's Wife, The Dating Dare by JC Lee, um, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes loved that movie it's one of my favorite romance movies of all time so i definitely had to own the book i know there's more to the series but i do not own them um anybody just love the simplicity of jojo Moyes' covers like all of her books have this like very simplistic um cursive writing on the front and i love it i've got okay i've got the trouble with hating you the upside of falling by alex light much ado about you by samantha young um, Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins, Not Like the Movies by Carrie Winfrey, Makeup Breakup by Lily Menon, I've got The Meat Cute by Helena Hunting, The Roughest Draft by Emily Willerby and Austin Sigmund Broca, I've got The Kissing Booth 2 by Beth Regals, I was obsessed with The Kissing Booth series on Netflix and I, I watched the first one then I bought the second book and read it because I wanted to know what happened. Um, and then I have The Pilot's Wife, which I also thrifted, and you can see the cover, the pages are like pretty yellow. I believe it's a romance, but I'm not positive. Um, I have The Lies You Never Told Me um, by Jennifer Donaldson, and then I have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, which I heard has a little bit of romance in it. Um, very mixed feelings about that book, and I'm not sure if I actually want to read it now. I just recently got it, actually and I haven't heard great reviews. Um, and then I have Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Um, so yeah, that is the last shelf and that is everything on my bookcase. I'm gonna show you some of my cute mugs and things and some bookmarks that I So have. here is an overview of my shelves. So those books have fallen over. I need to put something there. Have some cute like little succulents and stuff. And I have this super cute mug, which my sister got me. Um, I'm not going to say what it says, but you can obviously see. Um, I don't really want to be swearing and stuff on my channel. Um, so obviously you can see what's on that mug. And then up here I have this cute little plant. This mug that says all my children have paws. Um, I am a cat mom, so I absolutely love this mug. Um, I have some cute bookmarks in here that I'll show you real quick. This one here is a watercolor that I did, um, and I made this bookmark and laminated it and all that stuff myself. Um, then I have some resin bookmarks that I actually made myself. This one says I'm a coho that I put in my Colleen Hoover books when I'm reading. I have this one here that says romance reader because I literally don't read anything else. And then this one here that says Stephanie on it. Um, I have a few more resin bookmarks. If you'd like to see a video on me showing you 
like the abundance of um, resin bookmarks that I do own, um, let me know. I have like a little shop on Facebook that I sell them on, um, but these are just a few that I've kept for myself. And then up here I have another little plant. Um, and then I have, well, a fake plant. None of the plants on the shelf are real. And then I have my book journal, which I like putting on display because I love the little um, stickers on the front. Um, but yeah, that is everything. That is just my romance books, I guess, because I'm not really going to go through all of those up there. It is my fantasy stuff. Alrighty, guys, that is the end of my book tour bookshelf reorganization. Sorry if the camera angles and stuff are not the greatest. My tripod doesn't do like good with bending and it doesn't lift very high. So a lot of it was filmed, you know, just with me holding my hand up. Um, but I'm really happy with how my shelves look right now. It's growing on me for sure. Definitely will be changing it up again, but hopefully you guys loved this video. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know how long it is. Um, might have to do a lot of, you know, cutting and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you'd like to follow me on my other social media accounts, they are both Steph underscore reads underscore romance. That's on TikTok and on Instagram. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like my content and you'd like to see more from me, consider subscribing. I post quite frequently. Um, I haven't got like a set schedule yet, but I do post quite often. Um, so consider subscribing, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Give me a like, let me know in the comments down below if you own any of these books. Um, if any of these books are books that you want to get soon in a haul. Um, if you've read any of these books, I'd love to know. Um, what do you think of my new organization? I'm definitely trying to adjust to not having them in rainbow order, but I do like that they're kind of in order in my mind that you know they're by author which is something new that i'm trying um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have a lovely day whatever you're doing um maybe this prompted you to reorganize your bookshelves <laughs> hope you have a lovely day and happy reading bye